Well, once again, we're talking about building your church, taking your church and organizing it, making it strong. And so, you know, there's a lot of uh, work that you have to do sometimes, get your hands dirty and work on that. But, you know, even it, as we are at constructing different things, there are things within that we can do that are more than just putting up the sheetrock and taking care of the hammer and nails and the saws and the screws and things. And so let's go to the next part of what we would need as we organize our church. And this is, uh, once again, we go back into the printing part of it and then sharing this with you. Your church as you go down the road will want to be organized for good communication times. A church directory can come in real handy whenever you do this. And so you will have a book for church directory. Now, you know that some people will go ahead and they'll load their phone with different contacts and such. And so that's fine. But this is also handy for people that like the feel of having another book about them. Now, what I want to do is I have to be careful for privacy's sake as I show you. But the very front, I can show you this. This is the inside front. And you'll see that it shows the addresses and then it breaks it down into the different parts in the table of contents to make it for easy reference if somebody picks this up. Like now in our home, we'll keep this on a desk uh, right at the edge of the kitchen and between the kitchen and the living room. So if somebody needs to go and grab it and then look for resources, it's there. Very handy, and you'll find a lot of people do that. The beginning part on here would be the address. This alphabetically by the last name. And then they will go across the top with the name and then the address, including the zip code. And then down through there, starting with the parents, they'll have the parents' names along with the contact phone numbers. With the advent of cell, cell phones, obviously, you have numerous uh, phone numbers within a household. So those are also put down there. Then right after the cell phone number is the email address of the parents, as you'll have that down. Now, we make it a point not to have the email addresses of the children. We do not have that on there, and we avoid that. But down through here with the leaders. Now, if somebody requests that they don't want their email address in there, we respect that as well. But for quick uh, reference, if someone across the, uh, the board has one phone number for everybody, that's uh, it up in their last name, next to their last name. But down, if they have separate cell phones or separate cell phones away from a home phone, then we delineate that as well. So that goes through here alphabetically and we lay them out and they are, you have bold and italics for easy, quick reference all the way through here. And uh, when we finish this up, then you'll have the pictures of the people. They're on separate pages because you're going through there and you're saying, I know that they said that that was the Miller family, but I can't remember them because I just joined this church. Well, then the bulletin will let you see, oh, that's that family. And oh, I can understand. That's who I was talking with at the church picnic or the church gathering or that Sunday night. And then they will have them down here. You'll have the different pictures of the people so that you might be able to have an easy reference. Now, after the photo directory that we have, which really, really helps out, and then you can uh, go over that. We have the birthdays. The birthday area of the different people is in this section. And so that you can be able to send different uh, cards or greetings, and that's a lot of fun. It's a real special part of this. And you go on through here with the different birthday uh, uh, dates, uh, and we continue on as we go through the bulletin. And, of course, you don't want to forget the wedding anniversaries. The wedding anniversary is very, very important. We have that, which is just as important as a celebration. Then there are some notes on some different people that uh, you may want to reach. You know, you have them down Somebody has changed an address. And so we have that down for some uh, notes on there. It's a very simple thing to put up. This one, I believe, is 36 pages, which puts it down to, you know, taking these pages and doubling them up. And so it's not very thick. It's very, very handy. And our church has been doing this for years. We have a special day when everybody comes and has their picture taken by a gentleman who has volunteered his time. He's had a background in professional photography, and we love it. It's a great reference. It really helps organize your church, gets people to know each other as well. All right, church bulletin, or a, I'm sorry, a church directory 
which will really help you out. And I think you'll find this a very useful part of your new church.